Hey guys, it's Lori from Peace Nine Art here. And I am so glad you're here with me again today. Really appreciate you coming back. I love being able to start my morning off with a little bit of art. It's good for my soul, you know? So today I'm going to be uh, working with this little toy. It's a an old broken banana clip, but I thought it might be interesting to try putting it out on the canvas like that and then pouring the paint through so it'll go through these uh, broken tines. I don't know if I'm going to put it this direction or this direction, and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to pour through the holes there or just directly through the tines. I may just pour directly through the tines. Um, I think that's going to be the easiest way of doing it. But first, I'm going to set up a dirty cup. I'm using the same paints that I did yesterday, uh, or day before yesterday, I think it was, actually, um, because I mixed a lot of paint. So I've got plenty left over. And so my colors are going to be white. Purple, black, gold. bit more white to separate out. The last color, which is going to be the light blue. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I'm not going to worry about if it's got enough paint. If, if it doesn't look like it's spreading out enough, I will mix up some more paint real quick and add it. Um, see, if I do it that way, the tines don't get down low, all the way down to the, down to the surface. So it's going to have to be either like that or like that. painting that I allowed to drip on, or allowed to, to splash on to before. The painting the other day. looks really rich. It's not really going through the tines quite as much as I was hoping that it would. But it's not bad either. It's doing a little bit at least.
set that right there. Get out that last little bit of paint. That's pretty. I have a feeling most of that purple is going to spin off. When I spin this, we'll see. We'll see what it does. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to worry anymore with that. This. Some interesting little bits of design. So that's fun. Set that over there. Let it drip in the cups, please. Okay. Hopefully that's not going to make too much of a mess, although this is my art table, so I don't really care. I'm move this painting out of the way for the moment. Give this an initial spin, start spreading it out. It's very wide. Hmm. I need it to start spreading length. Rather than width. Hmm. <laughs> I gotta move this just out of the way. Need more white paint to help it spread the length, or I may just have white space. I just have negative space. If you've got a good painting in the middle, having negative space around it is not a bad thing. So quick here. Some sort of white flow troll. So I love what that's doing. I, I don't really want to spread it out too terribly much. I love the little drips that you get. Yeah, this really just wasn't enough paint. And I should have turned the, the banana clip lengthwise for the canvas. That would have worked better. So I'll know for next time. On the amount of paint and on the uh, shape of the canvas shape of the nano clip. So I, I definitely think I ought to do this again. I, I like that idea. There, like a pull, I think. I think, I think for sure. Okay. I do know for sure is that I'm getting paint all over the ends, which means I'm going to get paint on my fingers when I spin, which is okay too. I got the sink right here next to me. paint washes off very easily. Soap and water, or even just with the water, 
when it's first uh, it's still there. You guys know that. What am I? Why am I telling you this? I'm muttering. I am muttering to myself. Hmm. Okay, so that's enough white. Spread out some more. And now that I've got the, the heavy part of the paint off, I want to spin it again and let get just a little bit of some lines on this other one. If you can see that on there. me some real quick lines. That's what I was wanting to get the other day when I did that. And I got a whole lot more paint on there than I meant to, but that's cool. You see, with the white paint, it, it, it ended up pulling it almost completely to cover the canvas. A little bit of, of negative space at one end is not not going to be a problem. I don't think I want to spin it again because I don't want to spin off all the purple. Boy, that one little stripe where I accidentally went outside of the tines is really showing up big. That's funny. Oh, and those drips. Gorgeous. Love this. I really love this. Okay. Yeah, so there it is. A lot of black and white and gray with just a little bit of purple. The gold. Ha! Huh. The gold just completely disappeared. Oops tiny drop of gold there. I don't see any gold in the stripes on this. Maybe it'll show up more when this dries, I don't know. And I think I see a little bit of gold, a little bit of stripes of gold along in there, but for the most part it just disappeared. But I like how that looks. That that came out kind of cool. So I definitely got to do that again. If you like this, please hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. All those good things that we YouTubers ask people to do. Please comment. I love reading comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.